What's up, guys? I'm Jason. I'm Teresa. And we have an update to the man in a bear den for a month saga. That story is false. <gasps> according Stop. to the doctors. Somewhere in Again, Russia. This is Daily Mail. By... Yes, from the DailyMail.com, a story by Bill, Will Stewart. So, just to give an update, the story was that a man was found by hunters, uh, by their hunting dogs, in a den, a cave, and that he was there for a month, dragged there for a bear to be eaten later. And the story does seem like it's credible, because I saw it from multiple, multiple sources, so it wasn't like, you know, oh, it's coming from this one website, so you kind of think like, oh, okay, well... You know, there must be something to the story. And there is something to the story because the man there, that is a real man. He has a disease. He has um, psoriasis. So he has a skin disorder. That's what we're seeing here. We are seeing the psoriasis plaque kind of around the face there. The silvery yellow stuff. Uh, the reason that he has these horrible, horrible lesions is these are bed sores because apparently he was bedridden for so long he developed all these bad sores, which will happen. Like, that's why they turn over patients and stuff from the, when you're in a hospital bed, so you don't get those bed sores. And yeah, that's just a crazy ending to the story. Uh, I guess that guy was getting treatment, and so he is now having outpatient treatment according to the doctor um yeah it seems like you're kind of stunned yeah Teresa. i just i'm trying to take it all in so he has psoriasis and this is so this is kazakhstan okay so we'll take a couple of pull quotes here so the tragic truth behind the story of an amassing emaciated man claimed to have miraculously survived in a bear den in Russia for a month can be revealed today. According to a chief doctor, the senior medical insists that his 41-year-old patient was never attacked by a wild beast, but instead suffered from chronic psoriasis and other complications. It was leaked by somebody in the hospital videotaped this because it is, if you look at him, he looks like a corpse. <laughs> Sorry to say. But that is so messed up that they took a video of him, of his whole naked self. I mean, right. what were they, were they planning on, like, who were they going to share this with? So this is, news agency and other Russian media reported that it was a brown bear had put this guy in his cave. And, uh, but the... According to this article, in quotes, but key aspects of the story soon unraveled with background voices in the shocking video revealed as speaking Kazakh, not the local Tuvan tongue in the region mm. where the haggard victim was supposedly found. And I did kind of read that where they're like, oh, well, there's something weird about these accents. So as Kazakhstan is right next to Russia, so I guess um, mm. this Kazakh must be... That local, I don't know if it's a type of Russian uh, dialect or what, but in any event, um, the chief doctor is looking <laughs> for who leaked this video. Oh so if gosh. any of you guys can help out there, any of uh, anybody watching from Russia, yeah. Um, so, but <clears throat> he seems to have been getting neglected wherever he was receiving treatment, though, right. because, like you said, they should have been flipping him and shave well, this guy's at home. face. Oh. So he was at home. He was neglecting his uh, treatment. So he lives so by himself? I think the story said his mom brought him in. So she's neglecting him. <laughs> Maybe. I mean... He is in, like, really bad shape, though, right? So, I mean, it is a shocking video because he's, like, speaking, and you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. I guess another story was he was found alive in a coffin. In which, a coffin? Which wasn't true. Well, that's, that's one of the false stories out there, oh. so. 
that's probably another story out there that's circling around the web. I mean, she should have brought him in a little sooner. So yeah, and here the doctor is talking about he's looking for who filmed this and conducting yeah, an internal it? investigation. Why is he naked? Was he brought in naked? And why was yeah? Why isn't his beard shaved? Why why is he? So people with psoriasis, like, do they have weight loss as a as a? Uh, well, I mean, they could. I don't know. I mean, it's like, like a, he's some sort literally of like, like miraculously disease. hanging onto a, like a thread of life. So, I mean, yeah, he really needed to have come in yeah. sooner. So it says the neighbors of the Kazakh citizen confirmed his identity and the medical condition, and they recognized him from the Bear Den video. <laughs> Wow. So there you have it, people. I guess we're perpetrating a hoax. Oh, wow. To some degree. But I'm glad. Yeah, I just found this. I didn't read the comments, so maybe people were saying that in the comments. But, um, so if you did say, mention that, well, thank you. Um, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I should have read the comments. Well, but. whoever, I mean, concocted this story, what a, what a tale. Because. The dogs, the hunters, the urine, the he only knows his first name, the fact that they say that it's Russia. I mean, there's so much that is just not yeah. true. I've been burned by stories like emanating from Russia, not saying that oh, all stories. You did say you were suspicious. Yeah, not all stories from Russia are bad, but like, I felt like since it got picked up by so many links or so many. Um, websites you know that oh there might be something to this and the daily mail is usually a pretty good um site but obviously this is what where we got this story is from the daily mail how that is actually Gosh. fake i didn't know psoriasis was such a serious condition like i thought it was like oh you get some dandruff like or yeah. like I mean, well, it's yeah, it's if it's not treated, I guess too. I mean, huh? And yep. So there it is. Watch out for, you know what? Where you take your news from, and just take everything with a grain of salt. And even if you try to verify, <laughs> I mean, I guess tri double and triple check. Don't get your news here. <laughs> <laughs> just plan we always eventually get it right always <laughs> take care everybody